Let's look at the spiral learning model and how we use it in Next Ready to map your journey to mastery. Where you are in your learning can be defined by three coordinates, X, Y, and Z. You move forward in experience. You move upward in task use. And you move outward in terms of performance quality towards mastery. So let's see how this works in our model. We're going to see that as you go clockwise, you're gaining an experience level. With no knowledge of this, something that's new to you, you're starting at the new to me level. If you have awareness, you know what it is and could identify it and define it, but you've never done it, you're at the awareness level. If you use it all the time and you can show us examples, you're at the examples level. And the highest level is coaching, where you've coached someone else in the skill set or competency. So we'll start looking at a competency that's from the Santa Fe Public Schools attributes of a graduate. The first being love of learning, someone who is a creative problem solver, critical thinker, and exhibits a love of learning. If that's an idea that is new to you, you're entering at entry level one. You're entering at the awareness level, level two, if you have some understanding of what this means. If this is something you've already done and could show examples of it, you're entering at level three. And if you've coached someone in these skills, you're entering at level four. No matter which level you enter at, how you use these skills defines your gains in depth of knowledge. And there are four levels. The recall level is where you're just defining and identifying. Skills and concepts is where you can use these skills. Strategic thinking is where you're using it to solve simple problems that have known answers. And extended thinking is where you're doing it over time, planning and adjusting your plans and working across different competencies or domains. These same four levels apply at each entry level. So at the awareness level, you may be operating at one of these four levels and you're always trying to improve and grow. At the examples level also, all four apply. Even at the coaching level, these four task uses apply, depth of knowledge applies. So as we progress, just like that Nautilus shell, the creature inside had to grow in order to survive. And we're able to track how you're moving through the experience levels and the task use levels using this model. But what about quality? Performance quality is where you're moving outwards towards mastery. So whatever example you provide at any level of experience or task use, it might have too many problems and you're better redoing it. That's the redo quality level. Or there might be one or two problems which when fixed, you'd have a strong example. That's the revised level. If your example is already strong, you're going to be in this orbit ring. And in 5%, we're going to see the best ever. You'll notice that the best ever is only on the left side. And that's because there's a dividing line. On the right side, we're developing proficiency, while on the left side, we're developing mastery. So this is how our model allows us to track the learning in Next Ready, and you'll be able to see where you are and where you're going and the progress you've made. Thanks a lot.